All right, what is up, guys? So, another one of these videos where our server provider, you know, crashed and we don't have any survival world. So I'm doing a video. Um, <clears throat> I'm back on the world where we where I did the double piston extenders facing downwards. And if you haven't seen this video, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, they do exactly what you think they would. And I'm here with something pretty pretty special, if you ask me. So. What these are are triple piston extenders, quadruple piston extenders, and a whopping quintuple piston extender. Now I know that these, there are, you know, infinitely expandable designs out there, but I wanted to perfect them. Like for example, from my knowledge, this is the smallest possible triple piston extender, at least that I've seen. I've, there was maybe one design using a boat that was smaller, but it's not expandable, and this one is. And that's kind of what makes these special, in my opinion, is that they're really, really compact, super fast for what they are. I mean, they're not using zero ticks or anything, but for normal redstone, they're pretty quick. And here's a quadruple one. And then here's just a smaller segment of what that is, so you can kind of see what's going on when you extend it. It's pretty simple. It's the same extending mechanism for every single design. And then the retraction's just a little bit different. And then the quintuple one. This one is just way too big. We cannot expand it. Me and Zed Falcon spent a lot of time on this. Like here, this at the end, we had to use a comparator with one water thing of a cauldron so that it only has an input output of one. Uh, because this needs to extend once, and then over here it needs to extend twice, and then it needs to extend one more time to retract the block. And after we had to do that with these super long delays, we didn't think that. Uh, six would be possible, and I'm sure that it is, but we didn't really want to bother. Um, again, we did this kind of because our server went down and we were bored. So this is kind of our rainy day technique. And by we, again, I mean me and Zed Falcon. Uh, we did a lot of work on this. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what these are. I'm not going to do a tutorial or anything. Uh, I will provide a world download because I'm not going to do, do a tutorial because I don't think this is anything anybody ever really needs. I have seen triple piston extenders used in tree farms. Like, this is very useful if you're going to push the wood out of the way and then quickly retract it. So if you wanted this for that kind of thing, I mean, this is a great design to use. It's not going to take up a lot of space at all. But, uh, yeah. So, like I mentioned, world download with all of these for sure. Uh, I could go a little closer, but yeah. Um, if anybody wants a challenge, this is not actually optimized. I know the other ones, we've got it pretty much down to the exact tick. Um, how fast it can be like we're pretty convinced that this could not be any quicker maybe one more tick here and there but I know this one for sure is a lot slower than it needs to be so if anybody wants to go through and make this faster and by making it faster you could even reduce tick delay here meaning you need less repeaters and consequently make it smaller so I mean that could be a fun challenge for anybody interested but uh, yeah that's it for me today uh, thanks for watching